Yeah, I really don't think you should buy these if you have an Android device. What's going on, everyone? Matesh here, and today we're talking about the new Apple AirPods Pro. Apple has released the new AirPods, but by the way, it's AirPods Pro, not AirPod Pros. Weird English thing that Apple likes to do with some of their devices. So, but anyways, these are out and there are a ton of videos on YouTube you guys can go check out, but I specifically want to focus on whether AirPods Pro makes sense to buy if you have an Android device. And I'm really leaning towards no. Now, mind you, I have not actually tried them myself and I'm just being completely honest. I have not tried them. From what I hear, they're not as good in sound quality in terms of features as some of the other headphones out there, especially like the Sony WF 1000 XM 3s, whatever they are, the Sony True Wireless earbuds, they're not as good as those. Like they have better uh, noise cancellation and they have even better transparency mode and they have better battery life probably too. But the thing is, Everyone was gonna tell you that the AirPods Pro are amazing if you're in the Apple ecosystem. So the real question is, does it make sense to buy if you're on an Android device? And once again, I'm thinking it's a no. So here's the reason why I think it's a no. So first of all, you don't get all the features. And yes, you get a lot of the features, especially if you download third-party apps, like uh, there's some AirPods apps you can download on Android. I'll have them linked below, below if you guys are interested, but you can download those and you will get a lot of the functionality back that AirPods have on iOS but you're missing some of the really key ecosystem things that I think really attract people to going with AirPods. And that makes a lot more sense if you're someone who's completely into the Apple ecosystem. If you have an iPhone, if you have an iPad, if you have a MacBook, if you have all three, your AirPods will work with all of them just fine. Like they'll be able to quickly switch between all three of them and have no problems. But as soon as you introduce a device that's not an Apple device into the mix, like say you use a Windows laptop, say you use an Android tab, I, okay, nobody uses Android tab, but say you use an Android phone, you know, as soon as you introduce one of those things, you lose that feature of being able to quickly pair between the three different things. And that's kind of a big deal. That's something that I honestly want out of earbuds is being able to quickly switch between devices. but. Most true wireless earbuds just don't have that other than Apple's AirPods and only if you have Apple devices. So that is one of the big draws, I think, of the AirPods and that is something you're really losing when it comes to using them with an Android device. Now, when I first made my AirPods an Android video, I said that you should wait for better earbuds to come out if you're someone on an Android device. And the thing is, two years since then, better earbuds have come out. Like I said, the Sony 1000 whatevers, they are better earbuds than the AirPods are, but they don't work as well as the AirPods do when it comes to the ecosystem. But you know what? You're not in the ecosystem, so get those instead if you have $250 to spend. Or better yet, get these. These are the Liberty 2 Pros, and I have a full review of these coming out very soon, but I gotta tell you guys, they are definitely worth the money. They're $130 or $125 or something like that, link in the description, but you guys can check these out. They are gonna be well worth your money versus getting AirPods Pro, which are $200. $150. So yeah, overall, I just don't think if you have an Android device, AirPods Pro make a lot of sense, especially for that price point. Now, I'm not telling you how to spend your money. You have $250 to spend, you want to buy AirPods Pro, go buy the AirPods Pro. But if you're someone who wants to maybe save a little money or just find something that works equally as well as AirPods Pro do, there's a ton of options now in the true wireless earbuds world that I don't think you have to buy AirPods Pro if you're not in the Apple ecosystem. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Like this one if you liked it, subscribe if you guys loved it, and definitely go check out my reviews of some of those true wireless earbuds. I'll have a link to it up here and in the description below. So go check some of those out if you guys are interested, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.